Okay, for this pattern, you would chain 174. No, sorry, 147. Um, I just chained, I'm just going to do a small sample. So once you have your 147, you're going to count one, one, two, three, four, and you're going to double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. And I do apologize for any background noise. My, my daughter's in the, over there playing in the living room and I can hear her. Um, Anyway, um, so you're going to double crochet fourth chain, fourth chain from the hook, and then you're going to double crochet all the way across. Okay, so for row two, you're going to chain up six. You're gonna skip um, two double crochets. So it would be one, two. And you see one, two. So you're going to single crochet in the next stitch. You're going to chain three, skip two double crochets, and double crochet in the next. Chain three, skip two, and single crochet the next chain three skip two and then double crochet so that's good it's going to be alternating between half double cro i mean single crochet double crochet single crochet and double crochet and i'll meet you here at the end so here at the end you're going to do a double crochet and then you're going to have one two three four five a, um, double crochets. So you're going to skip your two. You're going to double. You're going to single crochet here. Then you're going to chain three. And end in a double crochet on the on the um, here on the turning chain below. Like this. So if you ended with, if you started with a single crochet, you should end with a single crochet. If you didn't, that means that you probably did two double crochets together or two single crochets together. So row, let me see, that was, oh, <laughs> sorry. Okay, that was row um, two. So row three says to chain up one. And then that same space, you're going to do a single crochet. You're going to skip this this uh, chain three space. Sorry, I keep hitting this thing. And then you're going to do five double crochets in this first single crochet. going to skip this chain three and then you're going to double crochet no you're going to single crochet um, in this double on top of this double crochet right here you're going to skip other three the chain three space and then on the single crochet you're going to do another five you're going to do your shell of five so that's the pattern Single crochet, shell, uh, shell of five, single crochet, shell of five, all the way across. Okay, so at the end, you're gonna do your last um, shell. And then in here on the turning chain, you're just gonna do a single crochet. Okay, so for row, sorry, got interrupted. So now is next, is number, uh, um, row number four. So you're going to do the six chains. Then you're gonna 
go here in the middle of the shell, which is right here, you're going to do a single crochet. That's if I can get, so I have to start again because that's split on me. And you're going to single crochet on the top of the shell. And you're going to chain three. Then here in this in this half double crochet, you're going to do a double crochet. Chain three. Single crochet in the middle of the shell. Chain three. Double crochet and the half double crochet below. And that's the pattern for this row. So the last, you're gonna do your last single crochet on the top, the last shell. We're gonna chain three. And do a double crochet on the top of the chain of the single crochet below. Okay, so row number five, um, I think I'm going to change colors here, because row number five is going, you're going to double crochet across. Change colors. So you're going to chain three, and then you're going to double crochet two. Uh, you're going to do two double crochets in this chain three space. You're going to double crochet on top of the of the single crochet, and then two more. You're going to do two more double crochets in the chain three. And then double crochet on top of this double crochet. And then two more in the chain three. And that's it. So in the chain three, you 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 do you will do two double crochets and then double crochet, two double crochets, double crochet, two double crochets, and two double crochets. Okay, so you would just do your two last double crochets in the last space right there and then do a double crochet on the top of the chain three. This was a chain six so just more or less try to figure out where the chain three would be. Okay so now this is where it repeats so um, you were, you're going to repeat rows two to two to five. So again, row two, it says to chain six. You're going to skip two double crochets and then you're going to do a single crochet. And then skip, I mean skip, not chain three, skip two. see here um if I'm correct no wait I think I okay because this I'm supposed to skip two I skipped one because if you skip two one two because you're supposed to one two yeah no, it's supposed to be you know, one, two, you don't count this one. Then you do your single crochet there, right there. Chain three, skip one, two, and here you would do your double crochet. So this has to line up. These double crochets here they have to line up. So. 
and the single crochets as well. So here's your skip two, here's your single crochet, so yeah. If it doesn't line up, then something's off with the count. So one, two, and then my double crochet. And that's the second chain. Okay, so just make sure it lines up and you should be good. So then you're at your last single crochet and you chain your three. Then you do your one, two, there's your two double crochets. See, and then you just continue on. So the next row is going to be the one where you do the chain one and then do the single crochet and then you're going to skip these chains and do your your shell here so that's the, that's the, the repeat rows is two from three and you sorry there's people outside playing and you can probably hear them um which is weird the color here is green looks like a grayish on the camera I don't know anyway so just continue the pattern and then um, I'll just finish my sample and um, see if maybe can give this a little nice border okay so I finished this sample I recommend ending at row five because see it would be easier it's easier to do the border if you're dealing with just the row of the uh, double crochets so I'm gonna do a slip knot and I'm going to do a half double crochet border first. So just attach the yarn anywhere. Or I guess anywhere on the bottom or the top of the blanket. So I'm just gonna chain one here and I'm gonna do my half double crochet. And in the corner, you want to do three, the half double crochets. And then just wing it. I'll see, put two, I'll put two double, half double crochets here in this space. Um, I don't weave in the ends because it's a sample, so it doesn't make any sense. Well, I don't want to take the time. Okay. I don't like weaving in, so I don't have to weave in on samples. So that's good. So here you have this big gap. So I would recommend probably put, putting two in there. Just grab more of the yarn here. I would do two here. And then do one over here. I'm going to space them out a little. You don't want to cut to ruffle. Probably one there, another one in here, another one here, and just more or less like, just, um, I would just recommend just going and just seeing how it looks or how it's doing as far as ruffling or um, getting too tight. I would do two here in this big gap because it's kind of a big gap. Now the ends get in the way. And then another one here. So just more or less, just go along and see how it looks. And then, um, then of course, three double crochets. I mean, half double crochets in the corner, which by the way, this does not look much of a corner here. So um, this looks strange. corner here so I guess the corner well should be here I guess right well, no it's okay it's here it's all right okay I, it, it really doesn't matter because the other the other round is not going to have anything to do with doubles or anything like that it's different so just do that Okay, so once you finished the half double crochet round, just attach your yarn and then you're going to chain up three. 
in that same space, do two double crochets. And then do a half double crochet. In the next space, do a slip, slip stitch. Then you're going to skip this, the next uh, stitch, and then in the next one, do a half double crochet. Sorry, it's just hard to see. Let me see. Yeah, so in this, you're going to skip this one, and in this one, you're going to do a half double crochet, two double crochets, all in the same stitch. Sorry, my daughter is talking really loud in the kitchen, so. And then a half double crochet. Do a slip stitch here. Skip one, and then do your half double crochet, two double crochets. And then a half double crochet on the same stitch. Oops, I keep getting this yarn splitting on me. Okay. And do your slip stitch the next one skip one stitch and then do your half double crochet two double crochet and then half double crochet so that's that looks. If you do these two stuck together, or not stuck, but it will start to ruffle. So you want to just avoid that. So again, just one more time, I'll show you. And the next one, do a slip stitch, skip one chain or one, a double crochet, and then do your half double crochet. Sorry, just here and keep splitting on me. Where did I go? Let me see. Okay, so half double crochet. Slip stitch. Skip one. Half double crochet. And then do your half double crochet. Two double crochets and half double crochet. So I'll go ahead and finish this and show you how it, it looks. Okay, so here's the finished project. So it gives, um, I think the border is pretty nice and can be used with any, um, any other blankets. You don't want to. Um, just a recommendation you don't want to do these two um, unless you're looking for a wavy effect then you can do your shell here I call it a shell you can do the slip stitch and then in the next one you can do another of these shells um, and it will it will give you a nice wavy look if that's what you want if not then do go ahead and skip after the slip stitch, skip one stitch, and then do the, the shell. Because, um, as I said, it, it, it'll get wavy on you. So that's the best way for it to just stay nice and flat. So I guess that's it. If you have any questions, please email me. And I hope you learned something new today, and thank you for watching.